Hey, my name is Al, and we know that like if we drop in a primitive, and let's say I was blocking out a scene, just bare bones, like this little city, I could press move that. If I wanted this to be on the grid, I could move this up, shift delta, scooch this over, kind of scale it down, and then I have to move this down. There's just a different way to go about doing this, and that's called interactive creation under create polygon primitives. There's this little checkbox, interactive creation. And when I click that, the next time I drop in a cube, I can left click and drag, and I'm just drawing on the grid and then left click and drag again for the height. Now, instead of pressing uh, the cube again, I can press G as in golf, and then I can just go to town and do this over and over as much as I want. So this will work for all of the primitives. Polygon primitives, let's rip this off. So the sphere isn't really gonna do anything crazy, but cylinder, very similar to the cube. Get our diameter and then our height cone is slightly different. We can left click and drag, and then we're gonna pull the height of this cone for us. Left click and drag, and then when we left click and drag again on our mesh, we get to pick the section radius, so that's pretty cool. Prism, left click and drag, and then we pull the height again, so that's handy. Pipe is interesting, there's actually three levels here, so left click and drag, left click and drag again for the height, and then we can left click and drag for the thickness of our pipe. So that is neat. For the helix, I can left click and drag, left click and drag for the height, left click and drag for the number of coils, and then left click and drag to edit the section radius. So lots of changes that we can make. So we've been using this with exit on completion checked. And that means when I have a cube, left click and drag, do the height, boom, it gets me out of, you know, this interactive creation. But if I uncheck this and then do cube, I can come in here and even more quickly, I don't have to press G. I can just go to town and do all of these wonderful things with whatever primitive that I would like.